Hi. I went out to play in a club the other night and I noticed when I was tuning up before the gig that I was nervous, which happens now and again. It just happens that the more that we play, the less nervous we become because we become accustomed to it and we can work through it. And sometimes we turn this to our advantage and we use a little bit of adrenaline to, to make our performance a little bit special. But if the nerves get too much and we, we have what they call stage fright, it can paralyse our performance and at the very least it can make our fingers a little bit uncontrollable. You probably know exactly what I mean. We can play something perfectly in a lesson or by ourselves in our home. And then as soon as someone watches us, particularly if it's an audience that are really watching you, then you become very, very conscious of your movements and if you have some nerves that are not in control, then it completely spoils the effect. I've always maintained that uh, most audiences only see about 70% of what we're really capable of because the rest of it is inhibited by our nerves. Unless you're somebody very special or you gig five or six times a week and they don't occur. But for example, someone like B.B. King uh, once said that he is always nervous every time. A legend like B.B. King is always afraid that the people that particular night won't like it, that he won't be good enough, he won't hit the notes. All these kind of little thoughts and fears that we all have and we're just pushed to the back. And then I started to think what strategies I have for controlling these nerves, controlling the, the effect of them. We can't say, uh, oh, wait five or ten minutes, I'm not ready, I'm nervous. The audience don't really want to know if you're nervous or not. People want to enjoy themselves. And also they want you to succeed because they want to have a good night. So I thought about this and realised that there are certain strategies I use. For example, if I've got a song list, then I choose the very simplest but with a powerful effect at the beginning, the slow blues, so my fingers don't have to move too fast. Or uh, a kind of a, a song that everyone knows and they appreciate. It gets people on your side and helps them to, to like you and put themselves in your position a little bit. In addition to this, I realise that sometimes I take a song and I don't play it the way that I, I normally do, not, to, not to the right way. That is to say, I leave things out a little bit. For example, if I was playing a song like Stitch for Blues, which goes like this. of little notes in between the main notes. There. And when you're a little nervous, sometimes these you miss these second notes to the extent that they hit another string or they're not clean and it makes a mess of it. So what I do is to miss these grace notes out, these little notes in between the main melody. And I'll just use one finger because it's much easier to control one finger that's moving, hitting one string, than two. And it sounds like this. <laughs> comfortable with the song, you can then start to introduce those second notes, the second finger, so that it sounds a little bit more like you want it to sound. And then as you become super comfortable and your nerves have completely disappeared, you'll find that you start to add things that you don't normally put in at all and it starts to make it something a little bit special. <laughs> thing we can do really is, is to fight through this fear and uh, we all have it 
a survey was conducted in, uh, in the States some years ago and it was found that the biggest fear amongst almost everyone is, is not an accident or ill health or anything like this it's performing in public it's a big big fear so you're not alone we all have it but just fight through it and perform it's no good to play all the time at home if you really want to perform in front of people you have to go out and do it and sometimes make a fool of yourself and it's hard but you will get through you will make it have a good time